Hello. We are back. Tuesday morning. And uh, I know we have a laptop with Amari some other board Joe. Okay, so this is a nice HP laptop. HP. Let's see what model it is. Model 15 dash. AY022NA. Okay. Let's check. Let's see. <clears throat> maybe we can fix it. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. You can't fix everything. You can try, but you know. Let's see. So we have the charger. Yeah. The voltage of the charger. Let's check the charger. <coughs> you can see on the multimeter 19.8. So the charger is good. Plug the charger. And nothing. We have no light. Nothing. Yeah? The charging light or the power on light. If we press the power, nothing will happen. Power. And nothing. You can see here. The LED are not on. Yeah? So this laptop is dead. <clears throat> like many other laptops. Now this is a HP, it's not a surprise, <laughs> man it's so hot. <clears throat> And I understand these things, yeah, are a lot more country with double temperatures, but I'm just not used to the, you know, when we are not prepared, we have no air con here or home, nothing, so we have to, we just have to wait, but anyway, it's the last day of heat, of the high temperature, so starting from tomorrow will be better. So I've been yesterday on the on the seaside, you know, I just been there for a half day, yeah, for his family, yeah. Nice beach, nice sand sandy beach, yeah. Water clear crystal clear water. It's unexpected. I didn't think I would find something like that on England. Like crystal clear water. Very nice. So, because the autumn is coming, winter, yeah, 
and the day will be shorter, the night will be longer. Probably I will start again the beginner lessons. Because I want the beginner lessons to be like half of the content of this channel, yeah? So I'm very committed on the beginner lessons, just, you know, the problem is the time. And you have to cut down the time from somewhere. And no, I will not cut the time from the family time, probably I will cut the time from the working time, yeah? So I'll try to work less here and uh, carry on with the with the beginner lessons. And also, I have a different idea about these beginner lessons. I will stop doing like standard things, which you can find them anywhere on YouTube. I will try just to be myself. And explain the things how I see them. Okay, so on this one the back cover is coming out. What I will suggest first to try taking out the battery, taking out the bias battery, that's <laughs> that's a strong suggest suggestion, yeah. You can fix a lot of problems just taking out the battery and the BIOS battery and shorting the, the, the BIOS battery obviously. Just to discharge if it's any capacitor there which is still charged. Now let's plug back the BIOS battery. You know what I mean, maybe it's not the motherboard, maybe it's just a frozen BIOS. Where is the charger? Charger is here. Yeah. Plug the charger and still nothing. Okay, we have a dead laptop. Okay, multimeter ground plus. So on the motherboard, we have 19.8. You can see there. So our charging port is fine because you think, well, you know, might be it's a charging port issue, but it's not. Next, what we'll check next? We check to see if our 19 volts power rail is present. You know the main power rail, huh? The 19 volts. We have here some capacitors, which has no voltage. Okay. We have here more capacitors. Which we have nothing. And everything is under this shield. This is a this is a heatsink hiding no fan. So you think it's a fan there? No, it's no fan. Yeah, so it's no fun. We have only hit sync. <coughs> we have a all-in-one processor. Everything is inside of the processor. I mean the South Bridge and North Bridge graphics. Everything is inside. But well, the problem is, I can't see any components like MOSFETs, like power supply on this side of the board. So I think we have to open the... take out the motherboard. What do we need? We have to see if the 19 volts is present. If the 3.3 volts power supply is present... 
3.3 okay where is the power button I can check on the okay let's check on the power button it's very easy so the charger is plugged this is the power button a ribbon cable and here should be 3.3 .3, yeah keep in mind this is very important it's just just look what I'm doing yeah checking on the power button ribbon cable so this ribbon cable goes on the board with the power button the best way where you can check the 3.3 because obviously you have no schematics so you have no idea who is the three point but you can check on any pin from the power button on some pin you should have 3.3 and that's mean your super IO it's reading reading the power button okay so we have no 3.3 so no one is reading the power button in this case the 3.3 volts is missing and you'll think it's a 3.3 volts problem but not can be the 19 volts power rail because the 3.3 is coming from the 19 yeah the plugger no seven plus yeah okay i have one seven plus board repair let's do a board repair quickly Let's leave the laptop on one side for a second. So this was a water damage job. Let me power up the microscope. My colleague Manuel, he tried to fix it, he cleaned it, everything, but the phone is still not coming on. 7 Plus, yeah? iPhone 7 Plus. Okay, so you can see the sticker is red. Hopefully you can see the sticker. Yeah. He clean it. And if if he clean it, I can't really see the damage. But it looks very good. Very good. Okay, here was water damage because probably that's why he looked on the thingy. But the board is looking very good. Okay, here we can see some signs of liquid damage. Oh my man, it's so hot. I can't even speak. <sighs> I need a fan. Okay, let's check the board. So, 4.2 volts on the power supply. We don't know where is it. when when you don't know which is the ground yeah maybe you don't you, I don't know I don't know honestly I don't know which is minus and plus so one of these big things one is minus one is plus so if you connect plus and minus in the wrong way yeah you'll burn a lot of things so the best to do is connect the ground to the ground like a screw like a metal plate yeah and this way you can't go wrong yeah like this now i know this is for this is ground because it's short this is completely short that means this pin is ground okay and that's plus and plus is short it's taking two amps because the power supply limit is two amps check the voltage one volt you can see there one volt so here where is the ground is like 0 0.03 so that's how i know this is the ground because it has the lower resistance compared with the plus so what I know, I know for sure this is plus and also our my plus is shorted, yeah? But doesn't have a low resistance compared with the, with the ground. Just checking the voltage. 0 0.03, very low ohms track. 1 volt, a little bit higher ohm track, yeah? So this is shorted. But we have no idea where is the short. It's looking good. The board is looking like untouched. That's crazy. So something is shorted, but we don't know what. We don't know what.
that's the most common fault. A shorter thing. Like usual. Probably on the laptop is the same thing. So what is getting hot here? Nothing. Nothing. Hmm. I think it's here inside. Let me take out this. Uh, Let's have a look what is inside here. <clears throat> so it's not water damage. So I will explain the fact is something is getting hot if it's not water damage. Huh? Okay, let's use petrol. But probably you can't see. Well, let me find out and I'll show you. Ay, 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 ay. That's bad. I think it's this chip. It's a chip this time, it's not a capacitor. Well, that's strange. How much you can get off? Uh, yeah, 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 I don't know. I don't know what is. Uh... Well, you know what? Let's open the schematic. Well, let's do it together, yeah? Let's do Phone board software. This is a free software. Phones, iPhone, 7 Plus. I stop using uh, ZXW because first it's you know you have to pay for and the second I don't understand nothing you know it's everything in Chinese and the board view was not working for some reason uh, and the software was working only on Windows 7 which is crazy I, we don't have Windows 7 anymore here okay so this is 7 plus first I want to see the plus where it's going here yeah? so that's plus yeah, that is plus and that's ground exactly how I said you see everything green is ground yeah everything red is plus so plus plus what is going on the other side of the board B so the plus is coming on that MOSFET okay so it's not coming we can't test it that's the problem I was trying to find a plus or maybe we can Come with the power supply straight here. It'll be more easy. So this is the MOSFET. This is the Tigris, yeah. And probably we have, yeah, we have here a capacitor, but that will not help us. <sighs> and after this MOSFET, you have your. Yeah, but you know what? Let's try. Yeah, because our short is here anyway. 
Okay, that's fantastic. I'll try one second. Wait. This is seven parts. So what you can use it. So we do have a point here, that's a coil, this is a capacitor, this is another capacitor. Hmm. Okay, let's check. Our main thing here, yeah? the the power rail, yeah, after the that MOSFET, you have a protection MOSFET here, which is this one, and the output of this one. Let me, how is the border? It's like that. Okay. So with a multimeter on diode mode. Diode mode. So this capacitor is on the main VCC line, yeah. This one, and it's short. You can see on the multimeter is zero zero. Zero zero. So that's a short there. Uh. So what I will do. I'll connect the ground somewhere and I'll come with the plus there. Let's use some petrol. And I'll come with the plus here. So what is getting hot? Anyone can see? Hey, look at the chip. Huh? That chip is getting hot. One more time. Let's raise the amps, yeah? Let's go up. Three amps, three point five amps. So two problems. One is the chip and so or two can be something else from the other side of the board. So what do you think is the problem? That's crazy, I can't even see now. I can't even feel if it's getting, getting, getting hot or not. No, now it's not hot anymore. What? But it is short. Okay, that's ground, yeah? It is ground? Yeah, it is ground. And this is plus. crazy okay let's go up four amps four amps 
It's insane. There's nothing getting hot. It's impossible. That 4 amps has to go somewhere. That's how the electronic works. 4 amps. That's crazy. You know, yeah, let's go with 5 amps because I can't feel anything. 5 amps. Something should explode right now. This one. Man, that's sick and crazy. Where's where my five amps, five amps are going inside of this board? Where? Because she'll go somewhere, you know, that's how the electronic is working. You change the current and hit. Yeah? And no, it's no other way to find this kind of fault. Okay, maybe a thermal camera. Yes, something here is wrong. Was it the other side of the board? Maybe not. Because at 5 amps, many things can get hot, including the ground, yeah. But this is a tricky one, I don't think it, I can fix this one. Because the short has a very low resistance, very low. Very low.
Yeah, there's a few things which can get hot. Obviously, it can get hot whatever is connected to this uh, this power rail. And you can see here all the red dots are which are connected straight to the the biggest one is the Wi-Fi chip and the power management chip. And also here we have another uh, power chip. Yeah, maybe let's try them. I wish now I have a freezing spray. But even the freezing spray will not help you if like are high currents there. Like on this one. Five current meaning even your ground will get hot. So you can't really spot the fault. Okay, something around the audio I see. Or it's on the other side. The audio is getting hot, really? Oh? You think we have a short audio AC? Let me check the schematics. Nah, the main power rail is not going to the audio AC. I don't believe we have a problem here. Okay. Okay, this is a hard one. This is a hard one. I'm all wet. Give me one second. Yeah, no tweezer. It's nothing on my desk. Okay. 
Поларгон. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, it's no way. I can't find a tweezer. You know what? I will buy a lock and I will lock all my tools. Because otherwise, they have no respect for the other people's tools, which is bad. Well, like two free tweezers on my desk, is it? I have unknown. That's crazy, that's insane. Okay, I found one, a weird one. Yeah. That's fine. Let's take out that shield. In the schematic, uh, A. Yeah, you see the we have the main uh, VCC main power li uh, line is going here and here, and I think there can be some problems. Yeah, that's why I want to take out this shield. Okay. I have to be careful because this one is still expensive. Now oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, this is coming out easily, eh? It doesn't have shield, yeah? It's just a copper plate, yeah? And that's all, yeah? No, okay. Okay, that's the heat sink. You have to be careful when you take these plates out. Many things can go wrong. Like, like you can melt the SD tray, or you can melt a connector. It's good if you take time and isolate everything with uh, Captain tape. I think we are fine. It's looking okay. I can't see what of the mesh sign here. Oh yeah, sorry, it's my fault. Yeah. Okay. So look here. That's clear a water damage thing. Yeah? Look at that capacitor. Most likely that capacitor is dead. Otherwise it's looking... F okay, look here. This is another water damage spot. You see it's all white. Yeah? But... Let's clean it. And don't forget our main problem. Our main problem is a shorted... Uh, Shorted main VCC power L. Okay. P 
petrol. Petrol is great when it's above water damage. Let's have a look together. Now you can see it's fine, it's not so much damage. Luckily, because probably this cap goes short at one of these caps. Hey, give me one second, one second. Sorry, I'm uh, I'm alone here. Oh, that's sick! More people. One second. Okay, sorry. So let's see schematic. Yeah. So all those caps from here. It's main VCC power rail. Yeah. We have this side of the coil. That's a coil, but we don't care about that coil. Even this cap. So I can come with my plus here everywhere. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's see. Well, I'm sure the short is from here. Let's use some petrol. Let me connect the ground. <laughs> Let's see. So which one? Which one? I was think I think it's that one. Let's show it one more time. Or maybe not. Give me one second. Okay. Okay, that's bad because I can't see anything here. That's really, really bad. I was hoping that our capacitor shorted capacitor is here. But looks like look on that one. Look on that one, yeah. Huh? Look, the the petrol is running out. From that capacitor when I touch the the plus, you can see. I don't think that capacitor is good. It's just a damage tooth, and we have to take out that damage tooth. Yeah. 
This has been a pain here and has to be removed. Come on. Let's check now. No short. Look there, yeah? Yeah? Plus? No short. Exactly what I told you. So that capac capacitor was there. Everything is fine. Now the iPhone has been upgraded. It's lighter. <laughs> no more capacitor. Yeah, all the metal piece has to go back. Replacing the capacitor, don't worry, it's fine. It's same like with the petrol tank. When the, they say it's empty, actually there is more petrol. So same with the capacitors, yeah? Don't worry, it will be fine. Let me get the screen. But that capacitor was proper shorter because it was a very low ohms. Like nearly was not really getting hot. Let me dry the board. Charging port. Let's put the screen on that so. Battery. Charger. And 1.5 amps and the phone is coming on, okay? So that was the problem. Otherwise, the phone is good. The phone will start very slowly because uh, we have everything plugged out. We don't have home button. We don't have uh, the top speaker ribbon cable. And it will come on slowly than normal. But that's okay. The problem was clear, was a short. Okay, everything is working fine. It's a picture on the screen, sorry. But you can see it's working. That was the problem. So, uh, keep in mind, use this program which is free. You know, I'm great. I'm. Uh, yeah, give me one second. Yeah. Oh no, that's expensive. Look where that is. You know what? The hinge. That's uh, sixty. Look, look, look here. Even the back cover is gone. It's sixty. That's no negotiation there. So you should be grateful for a program like that. Yeah, it's it's just free. You see, some people like work and give you something for free. Let's look how many phones do you have here. It's just just a nice thing, yeah. It's helpful. I know it's not schematics, but just having the board view and you can catch a thing like a short, like how I did. Okay, let's go back on our job. You remember the laptop? That's how we start. Manuel, Manuel. Just take that, huh? That. Just put it all back together, yeah? All the metal beats, everything, yeah? Give me a second.
Okay. Let's go. Let's let me call Jason. Go, Jason. Just call me and ask me about the that phone. Yeah, Jay, the phone is ready, man. Yeah? That woman, bro. Which woman? The iPhone 7 Plus. Oh, the customer. Okay. But you told me to let you know about that phone, yeah? So it's done. Oh, so the one I just called up about is done, yeah? Yeah, I just, I just found the problem on the motherboard and I tested now the board is coming on and it's working, yeah? Okay, okay. Okay, Jay. Okay, Bye. So I've got, got another job here. Something sent on from Clips. Yeah, I will send manual later, yeah? Okay. Okay, Jay, bye. Sony speaker? Yeah, Okay, I'll check. Yeah, yeah, Jay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll try. I'll try. Thank you, bye. Bye, bye. Wow, I can swear we fixed this kind of speaker, the Sony speaker, you remember? Was that big hard job where uh, we we have like a 5 volt regulator that looks exactly like that speaker. Obviously this is another one. You remember that job? It was a long job. Like one year ago. Like modifying, remember we modified the things? But anyway, I will do a video about this one, yeah? So let's see about this laptop because that's how, that's how we start the uh, that's how we start uh, uh, this video. Let's take the board out and have a look there. I know it looks more complicated, you know the electronics, like fixing a laptop or a phone looks more complicated, you know, it's a top technology thing, yeah? But actually the fault happening exactly where, where, the, where is the pressure and exactly on the, on the main power rails, yeah, there is the pressure, yeah? Like water damage, what do we think will die? The communication between the hard drive and the audio AC or between the audio AC and the processor? No, that kind of lines, they low signal lines. It will not die. It will die like high voltage rails, power rails, and main VCC power rail. That can die. Even the processor power supply, like it's 1 volt, 1 1.1, 1 1.2 volts, that will not die. Even if you put water there, it's, the voltage is too low like to happen something bad. But like 4 volts, yeah, 4 volts with a capacitor, yeah, that can die. Anyway, a capacitor can die in any case, even if it's no water damage. What about this laptop? Why do you think this died? Okay, we have a nice Super IO chip, ENE chip. We can see here the ma you know, recognizing the things. That's the first things what we are doing. So there we have like... A the, we, we know we have the charging cable, and on the other side, what do we have? We have the first two MOSFETs, yeah? You can see clear, here is the cable, yeah? Here is the, the charging cable, plus, minus. And here you have like one MOSFET, here you have the second MOSFET, and on the other you have a current sensor, you know? What do you want more? This is like a path. It's, it's like a, on the serial mode, you don't even have to check the the trucks with the multimeter, you can see them here. First MOSFET, second MOSFET, current sensor and the main power rail. Yeah? We spoke about these things. Yeah? So let's plug the charger and see when the voltage is getting stopped. So the charger is plugged, multimeter. Multimeter, let's switch the multimeter on the volt. So we have ground. 
And obviously the ground so it's coming here and we have 19 yeah we have a carbon resistor here and after the carbon resistor obviously we have 19 and after we have the first MOSFET on the output of the first MOSFET we have 0 0.9 volts so you will think that right now You'll think, sorry. So the current get cut here. Yeah, this is meant to happen. Like this MOSFET is cutting down the the voltage from the charger in order to protect the the laptop. It's a shorter or I don't know different scenario like five volt short on the USB. Yeah, when you plug a short to the USB. Or uh, over uh, over voltage, over current, over temperature. I don't know. A lot of protections. So if it's a shorter, we cut down the po the power, and we can't see more. That's the point where you you can't see you can't see what hap what will happen. So for that, we have to use our power supply, 19 volts. You can see on the power supply we have 19, and we will come with the power supply to see exactly. How much current is taking and what's the problem? 19 volts. I'll come with 19 exactly here. And it's taking no current. So you see, on this case, it's no reason for this MOSFET to cut down the power. Okay? So here is nothing, it's not short. After the second MOSFET, we have another switch here. Yeah? after this one and it's not short so check that on the power supply it's not short so even on our main 19 volts power end it's not short so we can say like it's safe to say that mosfet is dead yeah yes or no or can be because of this water damage here This looks like a water damage. What do you think? Hmm? Looks like. Let's clean it. Let's clean it. Let's see now it's working. Charger, let's plug the charger. And there's no voltage after the first one, so it's still not working. So, it can be a lot of reasons why. Uh, why that MOSFET is not uh, enabled who knows we don't even know if the MOSFET is that well, maybe maybe the chip I think is the BQ this chip is not uh, is not giving the right voltage on the gate so this MOSFET uh, should get open like normal. We don't even know that. That's the problem. I wish to have more time to investigate these kind of faults 
The problem is I don't really have too much time. And if I spend more time, the job will get uh, quite expensive. The idea is to make these jobs, you know, cheaper as possible. Yeah, this is uh, my other solder I hadn't arrived. Let's check now. Yeah, and it's working fine. Yeah, what I did, I short the the MOSFET. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I will not show you because you'll give me a lot of hate on comments. So I just bypass. I bridge the MOSFET. Okay. The job is done, you have another MOSFET there. Yeah, now the, the laptop doesn't have uh, inverse voltage protection. Yeah, the first MOSFET is for inverse voltage protection. Over voltage protection. Over current protection, yeah. All these protections are gone. But we have a working laptop. I have to live on your side to choose how to fix a job like that. Just search. Find exactly why the mod atmosphere is not open. What's the reason? Maybe it's a temperature sensor. Maybe it's that BQ chip. I don't know. I don't know. It can be so many things. But if I can fix the things in five minutes, it's kind of, you know, it's, it's just a cheap laptop. It doesn't even have a fan because it's a slow one. This is not kind of a 120 pound laptop. You know, how much you can charge to fix it? Like half of the, the laptop price? Yeah, maybe. I know, you know what, I will not open this again, I will not open, but the people, some, they can't understand how these things work. Like with the price, with the jobs, which, how much you spend on the job, how much you charge. This is same like the food. So if I will ask you, which food is good and, 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 and bad? Which one? Which one has a good taste and a bad taste? Hmm? That's the same. Because actually, it's not such like a good food or bad food, yeah? All the food is just food. And all the food is good food. It's if, if it's that what you ate and that's what you used to eat, yeah? But let's say if you think the seafood is not good, yeah, it's very good. But not for me, yeah? For different people, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Petrol. So it's not such like a good food or bad food. In the same way, like it's not a bad repair or a good repair or.
So take this video as an informative video, yeah? Just for your, uh, you know, just to give you an idea. Okay, don't get upset. Don't get upset and say, oh, sorry, you, you, are, you are so dodgy. No, no. Okay, that's the world we are living in. We have free shops. They will do it for half price, yeah? And you'll say, yes, yeah, Serena, but you have to be special. It's, it's being special has nothing to do with the money. It's just business. Yeah. Power on. I did power on the laptop. So, what we missed here? We have more problems. I did plug the power button, I don't remember if I plug the power button or not. Yes, I did plug. Let's check 3.3 on the power button. But I'm sure it's there. I'm sure the 3.3 is there. It is. You can see 3.2 volts on the power button. So we do have power on the on the power button. So why is not coming on? Hmm? Oh, it is on. Sorry. Yeah, probably because I reset the BIOS and that's why it's not coming on. Boot device not found. So it's all working fine. It's not heatsink, but this is like probably like 30 degrees. So this can work without the heatsink. Okay, so I'll stop this video. Everything is fine. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And uh, see you on the next one. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see what I can find. Yeah. Bye.